في بدايات القرن التاسع عشر لم يكن العلماء ينظرون إلى المسائل من خلال الطاقة كانوا ينظرون إلى الأشياء على أنها قوى منفصلة قوى منفصلة إحداها عن الأخرى وغير مترابطة قوة الريح قوة إغلاق الباب قرقعة البرق فكرة أن يكون هناك نوع من الطاقة الرابطة بين القوى لم تكن قد اكتشفت بعد جهد شخص واحد سيؤدي إلى تغيير فهمنا لهذا السر الغامض في الطبيعة Young Michael Faraday hated his job. He was uneducated, the son of a blacksmith. He'd been lucky to become a bookbinder's apprentice. But Faraday craved one thing. He craved knowledge. He read every book that passed through his hands. He developed a passion for science. All of his free time and his meager wages were poured into his self-education. He was on the threshold of an incredible journey into the invisible world of energy. أثار فاراداي إعجاب أحد زبائن سيده وكوفئ ببطاقة غيرت مجرى حياته. Can I pass, please? Can I pass? Some of us are trying to improve ourselves. If people will let us. Of course, of course, pass, pass. This way to a better life. In the early 1800s, science was a pursuit of gentlemen. Something Faraday was clearly not. He had a rudimentary education. He'd read widely. He'd gone to public lectures. But in 1812, he was given tickets to hear Sir Humphrey Davy, the most prominent chemist of the age. كان علماء القرن التاسع عشر نجوم عصرهم. كانت محاضراتهم ذائعة الصيت ومن الصعب الحصول على بطاقة دخول لحضور إحداها كان ديفي منتشيا بمكانته وكان متابعا دقيقا لآخر مكتشفات أكسيد النيتروجين أو الغاز المثير للضحك كان يقول إن فيه كل خواص الكحول من دون آثاره السلبية Ladies and gentlemen, a mysterious force that can unravel the confusing mixture of intermingled substances that surround us and produce pure, pure elements. Davy was an absolutely first-rate scientist. However, many will come to say that his greatest discovery is Michael Faraday. Metals unknown that is until I isolated potassium from molten potash and sodium, as I showed you last time, from common salt. That same magical. لم يكن فاراداي من النبلاء لكنه ما كان ليسمح للحواجز الطبقية أن تقف دون تحقيق طموحاته العلمية عمل ليل نهار ليجعل ملاحظات المحاضرات بين دفتي كتاب من أجل بطله الجديد Lord, help me to think only of others to be of use to mankind help me be part of the great circle that is your work and love Lord, I am your servant. Well, this is excellent work, Faraday. So what is it you aim to do with your life? My desire, sir, is to escape from trade, which I find vicious and selfish, and to become a servant of science, which I imagine makes its pursuers amiable and liberal. Really? Well, I shall leave it to the experience of a few years to set you right on that score. Look, I haven't done anything at the moment. I'll send a note if anything comes up. على الرغم من هذه الانتكاسة المدلة، قرر فاراداي التخلص من الكتح اليومي. وتكلل سعيه 
بالنجاح Meet Mr. Michael Faraday. He's going to be my helper while I recover. He assures me he is a Christian fellow. Perhaps with God and Faraday in charge of the chemicals, you and I will be safe in our place of work. Thank you, Professor Davy. Welcome, Faraday. Oh no, thank you, and thank you, Sir Humphrey. Just stick to your job and do as you're told, and you'll be fine, Faraday. أصبح فاراداي مساعدا مخباريا يهضم بشغف كل معلومة يتلقفها من ديفي لكن مع مرور الزمن استطاع التلميذ أن يتفوق على أستاذه الكهرباء كانت صرعة تلك الأيام لقد تم اختراع البطارية وأجريت كل أنواع التجارب لكن أحدا لم يكن يدرك معنى القوة الكهربائية The academic establishment at the time thought that electricity was you know like a fluid flowing through a pipe pushing its way along but in 1821 a Danish researcher showed that when you pass an electrical current through a wire and place a compass near it it deflected the needle at right angles كانت تلك أول مرة يشاهد الباحثون فيها تأثير الكهرباء في المغناطيس أول لمحة لقوتين كان يعتقد أنهما منفصلتان وتبين أنهما متحدتان بطريقة لا تفسير لها is remarkable. But if the electrical force is flowing through the wire, why does the needle not move in the same direction, parallel to the wire? Quite. Let's try turning the whole apparatus round. Again, Newman. So, the electrical force goes this way, the compass points that way. How can one affect the other? Perhaps the electricity is throwing out some invisible force as it moves along. What? Perhaps some sort of electrical force is emanating outwards from the wire. Oh, my dear boy, let me tell you that at the University of Cambridge, electricity flows through a wire. Not sideways to it. Well, that may be what they teach at Cambridge, but it doesn't explain what's happening before our eyes. No, no, let's just get on. Let's swap the compass to below the wire. لماذا انحرفت البوصلة نحو القوائم اليمينية؟ لماذا أثرت الكهرباء في البوصلة أصلاً؟ هذا ما أذهل ديفي والآخرين. As we celebrate the marriage of Michael and Sarah. بالنسبة إلى فاراداي. قضت المشكلة مضجعه كأنها إلهام من الله كانت المشكلة بالنسبة إليه طريقة لفهم معجزات الله There is a small almost persecuted group in London called the Sandemanians They were religious, not really a sect, they were just a small subset, sort of like Quakers Faraday was a member of that group, it was a very gentle, decent group They believed that underneath the whole surface of reality Everything was created by God in a unified way that if you opened up one little part of it, you could see how everything was connected. Michael Faraday was someone who, like Einstein, thought in terms of pictures. Faraday was different from anybody else. He had a flair for understanding his experiments, for understanding what was really going on inside them. عندما حرك فاراداي البوصلة حول السلك بدأ يلاحظ نمطا معينا What everyone else at the time had been taught was that forces travel in straight lines Faraday was different 
Faraday imagined that invisible lines of force flowed around an electric wire. And then he imagined that a magnet had similar lines emerging from it, and that those lines would get caught up in this flow. It was a bit like a flag in a wind. لكن قفزة فاراداي الكبرى كانت في قلب التجربة رأسا على عقب فبدلا من أن يحرك السلك المكهرب إبرة البوصلة تساءل إن كان في وسع المغناطيس الساكن تحريك السلك You see, John? You see? Yes. <laughs> this is the experiment of the century. It's the invention of the electric motor. Scale up the magnets and the wires, make them really big. Attach heavy weights to them, and they'll be dragged along. But almost more importantly, he's inventing a new kind of physics here. مع أنه لم يدرك الأمر في البداية، فإن فرداي عرض مبدأ التقويس، وهو تحول المواد الكيميائية في البطارية إلى كهرباء في السلك، التي اتحدت مع المغناطيس لتنتج الحركة. وخلف كل هذه القوى كانت هناك الطاقة العادية. A couple of months earlier, Davy had been elected president of the Royal Society, which was the elite body of English science. But then he saw this great discovery published in the Quarterly Journal of Science. I don't know if he was envious, but he certainly saw that this young man who had been his assistant, this mere blacksmith's son, had come up with one of the greatest discoveries of the Victorian era. Davy accuses Faraday of plagiarizing similar work from another eminent British scientist, William Wollaston. So, Faraday, what does Wollaston make of all this? He's written to me and assures me that he's taken no offense. And he acknowledges that what I published was entirely my own work. Right, right. Davy is just being an ass. But will Davy now retract his allegation? Sadly, no. In fact, he's still vehemently opposed to you being elected a member of the society. Really? And what do you think? Faraday, my dear boy, you have my vote. And mine. And I believe you even have Wall Street's. <laughs> oh. What a mess. Well, no matter. No matter. It's the science that counts. So tell me, how does this wire of yours spin round its magnet? What mysterious forces are at play? There seems to be an electromagnetic interaction. In my mind, I see a, a swirling array of lines of force spinning out of the electrified wire, like a spiraling web. But invisible lines of force, it's all a bit vague, isn't it? Faraday, might I have a word in private? Certainly. Listen, Faraday, let's stop this nonsense. I want you to take down your ballot paper from the notice board. Sir Humphrey, I see no reason to take it down. My friends have proposed me. It is they who put the paper up. I will not take it down. Good day. تم انتخاب فاراداي عضوا في الجمعية الملكية، وتوفي ديفي بعد خمس سنوات نتيجة استنشاق الكثير من الغازات. ومع مرور الزمن أدت بحوث فاراداي حول القوى غير المرئية إلى فهم جديد للطاقة أطلق ما يسميه أينشتاين الثورة الكبرى قبل حلول القرن التاسع عشر بفترة غير قليلة استطاع العلماء رصد سرعة الضوء 
لكن أحدا لم يكن يفهم ماهيته في إنجلترا استطاع رجل أشرنا إليه سابقا تقديم تخمين مدروس بعد وفاة السير هامفري ديفي أصبح مايكل فاراداي البروفيسور فاراداي أحد أهم الذين أجروا التجارب في العالم كانت المؤسسة العلمية لا تزال ترفض فكرة أن الكهرباء والطاقة المغناطيسية إن هما إلا مفهومان لظاهرة واحدة سماها فاراداي الكهرومغناطيسية مع ذلك كان عليه أن يقدم عرضا أكثر إثارة لجمهوره Invisible lines that can emanate from electricity in a wire, from a magnet, or even from the sun. <laughs> For it is my contention that light itself is just one form of these vibrating lines of electromagnetism. <تصفيق> بذل فاراداي جهده طوال خمس عشرة سنة لإقناع المشككين بأن الضوء هو موجة كهرومغناطيسية، لكنه كان يفتقر إلى الرياضيات المتقدمة لدعم رأيه. أخيرا جاء ما يؤازره. البروفيسور جيمس كلارك ماكسويل آمن بصحة رؤية فاراداي البعيدة النظر، وكان لديه الطريقة الرياضية لإثباتها. وهكذا أصبح ماكسويل والعجوز فاراداي صديقين حميمين جيمس جيمس مايكل مايكل So your results show that, that when electricity flows along a wire, what it actually does is create a little bit of magnetism. And as that magnetic charge moves, it creates a little piece of electricity. Electricity. Electricity and magnetism are interwoven, like a, a, a never-ending braid. So it is always pulsing forward. It's wonderful. Michael, Michael, there's something very crucial in maths. This electricity producing magnetism and magnetism producing electricity it can only ever happen at a very particular speed. The equations are very clear about it. They come up with just one number. 617 million miles per hour. I'm not sure. It's the speed of light. That is the speed of light. You were right all along. Light is an electromagnetic wave. أثبت ماكسويل أن فاراداي كان محقا. الكهرباء والمغناطيس هما مظهران لوحدة أعمق، لقوة تدعى اليوم الكهرومغناطيسية. تنتقل بسرعة 670 مليون ميل في الساعة. أما بشكلها المرئي فهي ليست أكثر من الضوء نفسه